Good afternoon everyone, welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Tuesday the 29th of September 2020 and tonight I am making a trip to Derbyshire for Matlock Town against Baseford United in the Northern Premier League. Uh, it's been one I've been meaning to do for a while uh, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Derby, I'm um, just looking for my hotel and which where I'm gonna be staying tonight. Um a bit of info about the two teams tonight. Uh, they've both played two games so far, won one and lost the other. Um Matlock are in the second qualifying round of the FA Cup, uh, whereas Baseford have already been knocked out. Um and when I get to the hotel and have a little a little chat with you about the rules on spectators and and stuff like that because it's just got completely and utterly ridiculous now. Right, so I'm in my hotel room. Yeah. The FA Cup spectators. What the hell is going on there? So basically, if you don't know, if a, if it's an all step two tie this weekend, the, the game's behind closed doors. If it's step two against anyone step three downwards, it's still behind closed doors. Um, if a... Step three downward side is at home to a step two team. Only home fans can go in, but if it's all step three downwards, home and away fans can go in. This is just the mind absolutely boggles here, to be honest. It really does. Um, and what makes it worse is um, like the step two teams can stream the games in their clubhouse, but if it's at home, they'd have to close the curtains and everything. I mean, come on. The FA, the National League, Oliver Dowden, what the hell are you playing at? Just use a bit of common sense. I mean, there is no reason why fans shouldn't be allowed into National League, National League North and National League South grounds now. It is just absolutely bonkers. So here I am in Matlock. It's quite a nice little town to be fair. Um, judging by the pictures, the ground is going to be yet another scenic one. So I'm looking forward to, to that. Now let's go find it. Right, you don't get many views like this in football. You might not even have to appear to get in. I could just watch from there. So Baseford just out going up there and a couple of Matlock players just there. So uh, Danny Greenfield uh, is currently on loan at Matlock from Gateshead so obviously as a Heat fan I'm pretty looking I'm looking forward to seeing how, how he gets on tonight. Getting away from Baseford.
half time, Matlock Town 1, Baseford United 1. Um, to be honest, I haven't really been that much in a way of, of chances. Um, it's been a pretty tight game. I mean, Matlock have obviously seen, obviously seen more of the ball, but haven't. But, but the goal aside, haven't really done a great deal with it. Uh, Baseford's got stuck in, you know, they've been fairly well organised, so I, I, I think that. Obviously, the, 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 going into half time with, with the two goals, you know, that's it, 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 it sets up pretty well for the second half. So, just have to wait and see. And fingers crossed, it can be an end in the second half. Oh. 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 Final score was Matt Lockdown 2, Baseford United 2. Um, it was a good advert for non league football, to be fair. Um, I thought Matt Lock looked pretty pretty decent from set pieces. Obviously, that's how both their goals came. Um, Baseford, you know, they're, they're fairly well organised and they've got some, got some decent players in their team. Um, so I think both teams um, could, you know, be in and around the playoffs at least I'd say um, but you know I quite enjoyed that to be fair um, I thought it was a, overall it was a fair result uh, but that's it for me for tonight I'll be back on Friday night not with a game but with the result of the September goal of the month, the voting for which will be up on my Twitter account either tonight or tomorrow morning uh, so if you follow us on Twitter at the DB30 um, you'll 
be able to to cast your vote for now the vote will last about 48 hours um, and also, also in that video I'll be revealing where I'll be going on Saturday plus as I'm going to do every month just have a, a general chat about, about about football and stuff like that um, but until then take care and I will see you later